let's start with solving equation and then we're going to simplify expanding and factorizing polynomials. So let's start with a simple equation. Say solve. So these are questions on solving. So let's do the first question. The question is 5x uh, plus 16 is equal to 1 minus x. Now, when you solve an equation, what we're doing is we are isolating or we are bringing the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So you can see a 5x here and you can see a minus x here. So my intention is to bring the x's on the left hand side. This is your left hand side, LHS, and this is your right hand side. So my intention is I want to cancel or bring the x's on the left hand side. So let's do one thing at a time. I don't want this minus x here, so the, you do the opposite of it. You're adding x to this side, you're adding x to this side. So what will happen? We'll do one step at a time so that, so this gets cancelled. So you have got 6x plus 16 is equal to 1. Now I don't want this plus 16 here, so you have to do the opposite of it. So you can write like this. So this is 6x plus 16 minus 16 is equal to 1 minus 16. So in this step I've done, I've cancelled the number on the left hand side. So this is 6x is equal to negative 15. So now I have to divide both sides by 6. So this is x is equal to negative 15 over 6. This is fine, but if you want to simplify, so this is, say, negative 5 times 3, and this is 2 times 3. So 3 and 3 gets cancelled, so your final answer is minus 5 over 2, which is the most simplified form. You can simplify this if you want to write as a decimal, so this is minus 2.5. Minus 2.5, and that's your answer. A good habit is always to check whether your answer is right. So let's check our answer. So what does this answer mean? Here is where you do the real learning. So let's do what is 5x plus 16. This is 5x plus 16. 5 times x plus 16. So this is 5 times 2.5 plus 16. So first you have to multiply, so this is, this is how much? 5 times 2.5, so this is 12.5, 12.5 plus 16, which is 18.5. Your left hand side is 18.5. Now what's your right hand side? Your right hand side is 1 minus, oh sorry, I've done a mistake here. Can you tell me what's the mistake that I have done? The answer was not making sense. Your x was not 2.5, it's minus 2.5. Let me do it again. So your left hand side is 5 times negative 2.5 plus 16. So this is 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 times 0.5 is 2.5. So this is minus 12.5 plus 16 which is 16 minus 12.5. So 16 minus 12 is 4, so this is 4.5. Your left hand side is 4.5. So what's your right hand side? The right hand side is 1 minus x. So this is 1 take away negative 2.5. Uh, sorry, this is 3.5. Yeah. So this is 3.5, am I right? Yeah. So that's why, so this is 3.5, so because 3.5 plus 12.5 is 16. So this is 1 plus 2.5, which is 3.5. I just, those who have the get, uh, calculator, you can do this faster. So let's check it. So. So this is 5 times minus 2.5 plus 16 is 3.5 
and one take away negative 2.5 is 3.5. Okay, so we have confirmed the answer and our answer is right. Okay, so let's do the next question. Again, this is solved. Solve is 2a times a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is, now to solve this, you have to use a common sense, okay, or the simple knowledge. When you multiply two numbers, a, if a times b is 0, you can say a is 0 or b is 0. Or you can say both of them are 0. So here, you're, we're applying the same principle, so we can say, well, this is 0 or this is 0. So this you can say, well, 2a can be 0 or a minus 1 is 0. So when 2 times a is 0, so what 2 times what gives you 0? So a has to be 0. Uh, or what minus 1 gives you 0? a is 1. So these are the two answers, that's all. Okay, so these are the two answers. Okay, let's do one more question. Okay, this is 2 times h to the power of 4 is 162. So the same principle, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Whatever you do on one side, you can do on the other side. So this is h to the power of 4, or h raised to 4 is... 162 divided by 2 is 81. Okay. Now the next step is a bit difficult. You should know 3 raised to 4. If you know 3 raised to 4 is 81. 3 raised to 4 is 81. And minus 3 raised to 4 is also 81. So let me show this on a calculator first. So if you go 3 raised to 4 gives you 81 and minus 3 raised to 4 oops you have to put like this minus 3 raised to 4 is also 81 now 3 raised to 4 for those who don't know this means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 so this is 9 times 9 so this is 9 times 9 which is 81. And this means this is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. And negative 3 times negative 3 is again 9. So that's 81. So we can write here h to the power of 4 is equal to you can write like this, plus or minus 3 raised to 4. So the left-hand side, on the left-hand side, you've got to the power of 4, and you've got to the power of 4. You can, they are both the same power, so you can cancel like this. So you can compare and say, well, h has to be plus or minus 3. h has to be plus or minus 3. Okay, so let me move on to the next skill that's useful in algebra. So these are all achieved questions in one of the exam papers of NCEA. So the next is let's factorize. Factorize. A squared plus A minus 6. So the two factors of 6 are negative 6. Okay, the two factors of negative 6, which adds to give you 1, are 3 times negative 2. And 3 plus negative 2 is also 1. So I'm going to write like this. So this is a squared plus 3a minus 2a. You can directly do this. So what I've done is I've split this 1a into 3a minus 2a. Can you see 3a minus 2a is 1a. So now 
I am making two groups here. So if you affect, you can make these two groups. So now I'm going to say, well, this is, you can factor out A, you got A plus 3. And if you factor out a minus 2 here, yeah, this is where you have to be careful. You have to put A plus 3 here. Yeah. Now why did I put a plus 3? Because, so let me just confirm like this. So this is A times A is A squared. A times 3 is 3A. Negative 2 times A is negative 2A. And negative 2 times plus 3 is negative 6. So now you've got A plus 3 here. And you've got an A plus 3 here. So you can factor that out. So your final answer is A plus 3 times A minus 2. Just like that. So let's expand now. Let's expand. Okay, so expand. Expanding and factorizing are opposite of each other. So the question is 3x plus 5 times x minus 1. I don't like the FOIL method, so I would do like this. So this is 3x times this whole bracket. So this is 3x times x minus 1 plus 5 times this whole bracket x minus 1. So this is x5 times this whole bracket. So now I'm going to distribute it. So 3x times x and 3x times negative 1 will give you 3x squared and 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. The same thing for this. This is called the distributive property. So this is 5 times x times 5 times negative 1. So this is plus 5x minus 5. You can simplify this too. So you will get 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. That's your answer. Okay, so let me finish off with the last question. You want to simplify this. Simplify. So I've shown you four skills. Simplify, expand, bracket, expand, factorize, and solve. So if you know these four skills, you can achieve uh, level one algebra quite easily. These four skills are what is tested to get achieved. Now, one thing that you should not do when you have a question like this is to cancel a squared and a squared. This is wrong. You can't do it like this. Okay? So a squared minus 2a. Now, why you can't do it, I'll explain uh, once I do, uh, finish it. So first, we'll factorize this. So we, we have already factorized this, a squared plus a plus a, sorry, a squared plus a minus 6 is this answer. So you can directly write this answer here. So this is a plus 3 times a minus 2. And in the denominator, you can factor out the a, so it'll be a minus 2. And now you can cancel. So you can cancel this and this. So your final answer is a plus 3 over 2. Sorry, a plus 3 over a is your final answer. And this was a merit question. Now, why can't you cancel? Suppose if, you have, if you're tempted to cancel, I've seen students cancel like this, cancel like this. You can't do it like this. So let me give you an example in numbers. If you have, so let me make up a number. So say you've got 3 squared plus 3 minus 6 over 3 squared minus 2 times 3. So I'm letting A as 3. Life would have been so easy if you cancel, keep, cancel this and this, you can cancel this and this. This is not how you do it. You have to first simplify this. So this is, this is 9 plus 3 minus 6 over 9 minus 6. So this is how much? This is 
You can't cancel these nines yet. So this is 12 minus 6. This is 6 over negative 3. You, you can cancel now. So you can write this as 3 times 2. And this you can write as 3 times negative 1. You can cancel now this, which is 2 over negative 1, which is negative 2. Okay, so if you cancel like this, what will happen? So life will become crazy or life can become easy. Okay, so the answer is 3, which is wrong. So let me show this on a calculator. So let's write in the bracket 9 plus 3 minus 6 divided by, I want to show, okay, hmm. Okay, and so let me drag this slightly up, divided by 9 minus 6 equal, uh, what did I do, 9, my, 9 plus 3 minus 6, 9 minus 12 minus 6 divided by, oh, I have made a mistake here, 9 minus 6 is not negative 3, so it's always good to check. This is 3. This is 3. And this is 3 times 1. 3 times 1, so this is 1, so this is 2. Okay, so you can cancel the numerator and denominator when it's in the product form. Okay, say, let me give you one more example. This should be very clear. Suppose if you have, say, 15 plus say 10 over say 30, you can't cancel like this, 15 goes 15 times 2, 2 times, this is not how you do it, okay. So if you have 15 plus 10 over 30, you can add, you have to first add it, if you can, you can add here, this is 25 over 30. Now 25 over 30 can be written as 5 times 5 over 5 times 6. Now you can cancel these fives. So this is 5 over 6. So 5 over 6, so let me check, show this on a calculator. So let me show it. So 15, let me put this in the bracket, 15 plus 10 divided by 30 hmm? is equal to 0 0.833 and you go if you do 5 divided by 6 that will be the same number 